All right, here we have the pack for Recharge, inaugural edition. So we got Spidey on the front, looks like Wolverine over here. And we have five booster packs. Strategy not for ice cream. So we got here, what we got here? Deck building, resource management, tactical venturing. 150 unique game cards, 100 very rare full foil power plus cards. As a 10 point power boost. All right, so to start up, we got 50 collectible card games, two foils, 20 counter chips. There are two different starter decks, each include 25 cards. They can only be found in that deck and nowhere else. All right, so let's make starters have exclusive cards. It's Kind of normal. It's easy to open. These are pretty cool packs. Got Electra, Spidey, Wolverine. One, two, three, four, five. Which we will open. Maybe to customize our A deck, it looks like. Opens from the side. Counters. Rule book, deck. <laughs> Playing nice will get you nowhere. Like this game already. Now let's check out the cards, which is what people probably clicked on the video anyway. All right, so we have Daredevil. Hulk. So we get better light. And it just has flavor text, it looks like. So a red on each side, gives a real name, powers. Spider-Man. Okay, so it'll say special. Whip blast. Play this card to start a battle, and the first card your opponent plays in this battle is automatically destroyed and goes to the discard pile. Well, that seems pretty rough. Human Torch, a thing. Surfer, which are fantastic. Visible Woman, Medusa, Tigra, Dagger, Alias. Jessica Jones, Firestar, Wasp, Crystal. And we have some teamwork cards here. Fantastic Four. Looks like I'll keep these in order. I can split them. The Witches. Shield. Looks like Shield has something crossover. Play this card with an attacking hero to start a battle. Colors must match, must match, and you may attach any non-matching card in your hand. Hero power, teamwork to the other side. Okay, so it's like a wild card effect. Daredevil blackout. Play this card with an attacking hero to start a battle. Colors must match, and your opponent may not draw the usual card. Spider-Man power card. Storm power card in gray. Thorn Enchantress, <laughs> Daughters of the Dragon, Black Bolt Medusa, Captain Marvel and Moon Dragon, Carnage. 
All right, so that is this red deck, and I think you split the power cards. So the green deck, Carnage, Red Skull, Kingpin, Doc Ock, Rhino, Sabretooth. Okay, no specials. Mr. Sinister, the Juggernaut, Professor X, Cyclops, Wolverine Special. Play this card to start a battle, add 40 points to its rating. Gambit, Colossus, Bishop, Sentinels, Marauders, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants crossover. Same thing as the, the wild card effect. Sabretooth, Magneto, Iceman, Freeze Out. Play this card with attacking hero, start a battle. Colors must match and your opponent may not draw the exact same power. Shadow King, Psylocke. Apocalypse Archangel. And we've got a couple foils here. So we have Bishop. Oh, we have. Oh, okay. So they put a splitter in. That's nice. And Deadpool. So let's see here. No specials, just hero cards. That is the starter deck. Okay, let's pop over a couple of these packs. Uh, teamwork card, power card, the thing, Magneto, oh, Sage is new, didn't see Sage. Sinister, teamwork, so not very impressed with that one. Let's see about Electra here. All right, Iron Man, Ghost Rider. Mystique. Black Panther and Mephisto, another one of these, Blade, Typhoid Mary, and Colossus. So no, um, no special power cards in these boosters or foils. foil but it's Bishop again. Black Widow. Dang and scroll. Surfer again. Crystal. Aim. Regular Bishop. Alright. Got our last two packs. Still no special cards. Uh, okay, here we go. Punisher. Oil. It's pretty cool. Shadow King Psylocke. Ultimate Weapon X. Doc Ock. Enchantress. Stripe and Domino. Deadpool. And Phoenix. Last pack. Medusa, Wasp, Rogue, Spidey, Wolverine, Witches again, Polaris, which is I think is new, 
connect and cable. So the booster packs, eh. Eh. Kind of mad that I have a double already of a uh, bishop, but this is what it is. That is Marvel Recharge, Starter, and Boosters. So, got it at six bucks. Not at six bucks, I got it for six bucks. And Ollie's likes superheroes, and it seems like an easy game. Okay, this is a quick overview of how to play Recharge. So it was very quick, um, streamlined, there's a little bit more to it, but not much. So you're gonna have your deck, a deck and a deck. This will be in your hand. So this player has drawn, drew a bishop with a power of 50. Whoops. Okay, we'll see. He drew Ghost Rider. So you start your you start your start the game, one card in hand. So this will be in your hand. One doesn't know. Youngest player goes first. On their turn, they're gonna draw a card. So I drew Iron Man, which was a power card. So Ghost Rider has red. I could initiate an attack. To do that, I would say I'm going to attack, play out Ghost Rider, and then I'm going to take one of these one through five bids and play it. So I think you only get to play the one card. Yeah. So if you decide to attack, play one hero card face up and one counter any value. Then defend, they get to draw one card, so he's gonna draw power card, Spider-Man Wolverine. He's all blue. So he can use this card. If he wants to defend, he can go in. So Ghost Rider's at 60. Bishop is losing. So he must play enough cards to beat Ghost Rider. So if he's on defend, he'll have to play Bishop. Play this power card. In case of a tie, the original attacker wins. He may play a counter. And if he does play a counter, then you can play one back on him on your turn. Okay, so if he plays a counter back, then when it's his turn in defense, I can play another counter back. The point is to get to 30 points. Players take turn placing cards and counters to the table until the player who is losing either runs out of cards or concedes. So say I put a one here and he put a one here. That's right, you start your turn, you do draw a card. Has this in hand, goes right to play it. So 50, 30 is 80, 20, 60 is 80. The original attacker always wins ties. He has no more cards in hand. So he can't. He loses the battle. You would get the two points to your victory pile. Then everything with the discard. And you're like, okay, you're back to square one. People draw one card. You got a hero. Hero. So the, the way to get more cards in your hand, you can just pass, and you'll draw another card. You'll draw another card. And the reason for doing so is so you can do somewhat of a combo in the game to get a higher power. So say, say I have all these cards in my hand. You're gonna have up to six cards in your hand. So say I have this. All right, let me go. Play that. Then they would play, I don't know. I don't know if they had a hero up here or not. I think it's Bishop again. Say they were attacker and say they had a lot going on. So say they're up to like 
necessarily need like another power card. So there's no more blue power cards in this guy's deck. All right. So say he's up like that. So you can't turn him upside down. So now he's at 15 and 20. I'm sorry. Uh, so he's at 100. Server's at 50. So what you can do is throw in a teamwork. 60. You can actually then throw in another hero, which would get him there. So 50, you know, 110. If he wasn't there, you can actually throw in an additional teamwork. Turn it over for 10. And then you would need another red hero if you wanted to continue. So if you had a Typhoid Mary, let's add 60. So you have a huge amount of numbers to defend. So, and you get there by passing on your turn, that way you can draw more cards. That is it in a nutshell. Of course, there's a, a little more in the instruction booklet, but that's the basics of the Recharge Marvel card game. I do like the art, okay. There's some special ability cards uh, that are in the starter deck, like Spider-Man, I think. When you play him as a hero, he can't draw their first card, so that's pretty good.